Welcome back to the Midnight Who Show, and today I'm back with another movie review of Toy Story 4. Yes, they made another one. Uh, this uh, last decade of Pixar films has been a lot of sequels, haven't they? Uh, now, of course, now this, of course, you can see Bo Peep is back into the mix in this fourth movie. So that was really cool to see Bo Peep again. Now, of course, when this movie was first announced, I was not very excited for it. I mostly felt like, do we really need another Toy Story film? I didn't really think we needed it. But after watching this, I still think, you know, maybe they could have left it a third one. But to me, this is like the after the offense of that. This is like what their lives are now like and just giving a little insight on it, which actually I really did like. And you also kind of see our character of Woody. This is a Woody story in, to me. Because now he's like figuring out his kind of new role when he's now with Bonnie instead of Andy because it's quite different. And to me, it's really of a different type of story because Woody's not really used to this. He's kind of just, he's always been the top toy. And now it's just everything's kind of changing around him. Now, of course, Bonnie, of course, makes a certain character in this movie called Forky. Forky was hilarious. Uh, this character was great. He was always going toward a certain thing because he's just made of trash. He doesn't really think of himself as a toy. And it has a lot of funny scenes in this movie with him and Woody, of course. It was a hilarious Toy Story film. There's a lot of great laughs. But I do feel sometimes the jokes that were in the movie were dragged out too much. Like a certain recurring gag with Buzz I thought was hilarious at the first time but I felt the movie kept bringing it up too much. And I wish they just maybe did it one or just even just two. That's all it really needed. And there's also another joke with Bonnie's dad and a certain toy that was keep making a joke. It worked the first time, but it is a little bit too much. But that's just me. But to me, though, it was well balanced. This movie was well balanced with the humor and heart. It was emotional at times and funny at times. And of course, one thing really great is kind of you see Woody reunite with Bo Peep. And it kind of just, he sees what she's been up to. She's now kind of a lost toy, but she's also helping. She's trying to just kind of be there for all these other lost kind of toys. And it's kind of a really new dynamic with Bo Peep. And I really did enjoy that. Now, of course, another character, a new face in this movie was, of course, basically Ducky and Bunny. And they were absolutely hilarious. I actually were kind of, I was a little bit like Forky. I just thought, well... They are either going to be really funny or they're just not going to be, they're going to be overused. And I think they were right, they were perfectly used. I still think out of all the new toys that were introduced in this movie, I really enjoyed Duke Kaboom. Duke Kaboom was awesome. It was just great. I, Keanu Reeves did a great job voicing him. Now, of course, the movie does introduce us to a new villain, Gabby Gabby who's a very different type of villain to me. I don't think she is definitely my favorite villain of all the Toy Story movies, but she's basically just a toy that's never really had a chance because her voice box was kind of defective. And basically, Woody is her chance. I will say, though, she is basically her henchmen are ventriloquist dolls, and I hate ventriloquist dolls. I really do not like them. And they add a little bit of a creepy element to this film, but <laughs> there's only one scene that particularly... I did not enjoy and that was basically when the ventriloquist doll kind of just appeared above the window I, I I didn't like that no yeah to me though a lot of the toys that we have met in the previous films I, I thought they were just kind of more background characters in this film they were there they served their purpose but I do think this movie was kind of more to serve as Woody's story you get to see how he has to learn that Things can never be the same, and he has to kind of adapt to this. And I really do think the film ended on a really heartfelt moment, and I actually really enjoyed it. You know, to me, the third one wrapped up Andy's story, and now we get to see kind of Woody's epilogue, his kind of story, and how he has to now choose what his future should be. And I think that's really a good film. Now, to me, this film, I really think the animation was, of course, beautiful, the landscapes, the carnival setting was just beautiful to look at. Another great job animating this film. 
And to me, I recently watched the first film, and it's just so... Like, in 24 years, to see... Seeing the first one and now seeing this one, you get to see how much Pixar has grown. And I really enjoy that. So yeah, this movie, I didn't really think it needed to exist. But in a way, I'm kind of glad it does, because it at least is one more step into the world of Toy Story. And they at least did a great job. You know, they did a good job with the story. The characters were awesome. And it doesn't feel like it was almost unnecessary, which I am really happy. And to me, all four Toy Story films are spectacular. Toy Story 4, it was a really great film. I definitely recommend you watch it. I think you'll have some great laughs and just also some tug at the heartstrings. So, yep, Toy Story 4, I would definitely give it a 9 out of 10. Great job, Pixar. 3, 2, 1. So, yeah, probably up there is one of my favorite anime movies I saw this year. So, I thought I ended this video with something really cool that I found at Target. I actually only learned about this about four days ago, and when I learned about it, I was really excited to get my hands on it, because I've had a long quest to try to get the Pizza Planet truck in some form of collectible. It's been very challenging. In 2017, I think Walgreens had a version of it from Cars 3. That was hard to get, and I think there's a Lego set about a decade ago with Toy Story 3. But what's really cool is the Hot Wheels Premium line came out with the Pizza Planet truck. This thing is awesome. Of course, you can see the restaurant in the background. And this thing has some really great details with it. You, of course, got the little rocket on top. And they did even, like, you got a Pizza Planet delivery service. And, of course, the Yo at the back. So, yeah, I was really happy to find this. And I now finally have a Pizza Planet truck in my collection. Just how I show this little Pizza Planet truck at the end of this video. So yeah, really cool, and I'm really happy I finally found and have a Pizza Planet truck. So that's it. So that's it for tonight. I really hope you guys enjoyed this little review of Toy Story 4. Tell me your guys' thoughts in the comments below, and I'll of course see you guys in the next video. Bye everyone.